I have to ask because I too am a female in a male dominated world. I'm in construction and um, I have to know, have you encountered any sort of a sexism in the brewing industry and do people like, are you just totally unexpected for them? What has that been like? Yes, it is a very male dominated industry and um, I have, I felt like I've been lucky enough to only have a couple cases of feeling really uncomfortable or uh, really condescended like publicly, but those are not people where you forgive them and you move on. But I would say like it's even a little bit more challenging for me because I'm like, I'm going to show up and I'm going to bring all these like really lovely smelling flowers with me <laughs> and plants. And they're like, no, seriously, who, what are you doing? And so um, a lot of people want to push back. Like, I mean, you don't have barley and hops. This is like, you should get out of the brewery. And, you know, I just say this has been a rule for too long. And like, I, the market is so concentrated. And if it, I feel like if you're scared of it, that's like one conversation. But like, if you're really just like this, lady doesn't know anything about what real beer is then we're just gonna have to we're just lost yeah Yeah. because the thing is you do know and you found you know a better way you found a different way right so right i mean and i right now i'm not because i'm renting equipment that like wasn't equipment that i wanted for my uh for my recipes i don't have the ability to this is all technical stuff that people probably don't really care about, but I don't have like multiple steam jackets that allow for mash rests for me to use the ancient grains in my all grain brews. Mm. So when I have my own space, I'll be able to also be making these all grain brews, mm. which will have a little bit of hops in them and also some other plants to complement. But they will be gluten free as well. They'll be gluten free. Oh my god. Gluten free dedicated. Food.